Hey, what's up, everybody? Dano here. I'm gonna try to finish this Earthshine Moon tutorial I started on about a month ago. I'm gonna wrap it up with this third video processing in Photoshop. So I'm gonna open up Photoshop here. And you can open the images into a layer directly from here. I just learned this recently. So just go to File come down to scripts and then go to the load files into stack and I click on that and in the last video I had stacked all this stuff in um, <clears throat> pip and auto stacker but for this video I'm just going to use two single images uh, in case you know you just went out and took two different exposures and want, wanted to blend them so I'm just going to use uh, one of these single exposures for the moon and come back hit browse again and I'm going to use one of these single exposures for the dark side of the moon and open that up all right and we're going to hit OK it's going to open these two photos as a layer and you'll want um, let me switch this I'm going to make it fit the screen You'll want this um, image of the moon itself on top over here. You can turn that visibility off and you'll see the one below it. So I'm just going to do a, a quick edit. Um, make sure I'm clicked on this one. I'm going to go to filter and camera raw filter. And I'm just going to do a uh, the white balance, I'm just going to hit auto up here and it'll take some of that yellow out. And I'm going to bump the whites up a little bit just to, just to brighten it up, just a touch. And the contrast, uh, I'll lower just a little. I'm going to bump the saturation up just a little bit. The vibrance up just a little bit. I'm going to go to detail. I'm going to hit noise reduction and bump that up just a little. Maybe about 10. Somewhere around 10. And the same for color noise. And I'm going to hit OK. You'll see how that went from like a yellow to a wider, more natural moonshot. Okay. Um, this one, I'll probably I'll just do the same thing real quick. I'll click on that one, filter, camera raw filter, and I'm just going to mess with the contrast a little bit. I'll bump that up just a little. And the highlights. Um, if you bring that glow out too much, it's gonna create an issue. But I'll just leave it close to. I'll just. I'll barely bump that up. The whites. I'll leave those around zero. Blacks. I'll bump the blacks up just a little bit. And the same thing, I'm just going to bump up the clarity. Uh, sorry, the vibrance and the saturation just a little. Maybe add just a touch of color. And then hit the detail tab and do a little bit of noise reduction. Just a little bit. I don't want to go crazy with it. I'm just trying to smooth out just a little. Really can't do a whole lot with a single image. Uh, it's going to be noisy, so... All right, those are just some little quick edits to each photo. Now I'm going to click back on this top photo right here. Now we're going to blend these two. Um, the way that I've been doing this is you'll come down here to add layer mask, the little square button, and click on that. And make sure your box is on the layer mask, and you will want... 
uh, to click on this gradient tool and make sure that the colors are set to the default black on the top white on the bottom and you'll come up here generally right right around in this area right here and I'm going to come at the same angle that's uh, of the part of the moon that's missing so kind of a little angle a little slant like that so I'm going to click right here and I'm going to drag it down to about there to the where the crescent is uh, and click and so that brings out the other photo and you can mess with this you can do it um, several different ways I mean, you can come up here and then it'll, it'll barely bring out some but if you it's easy to overdo this so if you go past the moon it definitely that definitely um, overdoes it right there so that sweet spot is kind of like right in here to start right in here and then come down close to the light of the moon and that should work right there let me make sure I'm just gonna hit undo I'm gonna come down right to the edge of the crescent I kind of like that I kind of like that we might go with that and then I can adjust uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna push it just a little bit more but right but right there that looks pretty good looks pretty good okay now you can see and you know, that's kind of an odd shape we want to line this up so you need to come up here and click on the move tool and well first I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit you can tell that's kind of off so another thing that can help is if you lower the opacity you know say around around 50 Let's try 57. Okay, we're zoomed in. I'm gonna go back to the move tool. And click on this picture. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to try to line this up. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. I'll drop the opacity just a little bit more. Let's see. Put the opacity at about 47. Go back to the move tool. Let's try this again. I see that shadow right there can line up. This is probably the hardest part, is just getting this lined up just right. I'm gonna see what this looks like. I'm gonna zoom out. It looks a little wonky. I'm gonna zoom back in. I think I can fix that, make that a little bit better. Whoops, what did I do? Oh, I hit zero to change the opacity. Uh, click on this, and this is what I'll do. I'm going to run this, that part of the crescent in the upper left. I'm going to try to match. try to match that and then I'm going to slide it over up just a little bit let's see what this looks like let's 
Let's switch the opacity back. I'll check it like that. Yes, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. See that the glow, the glow from the overexposure can kind of throw you off, but you just want to try to get it, you know, uh, as circular as possible. Um, but yeah, that's when you put the opacity back. That doesn't look too bad. All right, let me zoom out. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can just lighten up the dark side of the moon here. And that's going to be this side. So I'm going to click on this one and then add a brightness contrast. And let's just see if we can adjust this side of the moon. All right. I'll close that one out. And then I'm going to click on the top. And let's do the same thing. I'm going to do a brightness contrast. And this is going to... Brighten that up just a touch. All right. I'm just going to do a stamp visible, which is Control Alt Shift and E. And let's uh, let's crop this just a little bit here. big crop but okay now you could call this done um, there's other stuff you can do um, I could take this moon and cut it out and then um, let me just take the visibility off of here I could take that and cut it out and bring it back down here uh, to this glow and add these stars in but uh, for today's video, I just wanted to show how to blend these. You can do some final touches. Go back to camera raw. And let's see here. We can, we can bump that exposure up just a little bit. Contrast. And if you lower the contrast, you'll get that glow on the top side and it doesn't look so great. So I'm, I'm going to bump it up just a little. Um, the highlights, maybe up just a touch. Shadows up just a touch. And um, maybe bump up just a little bit of clarity. Dehaze. We'll take some of that glow off. So I'll just do that just a little bit. Bump up the vibrance and the saturation just a little. And then come down to detail and uh, set that noise reduction one more time. I'll just slide that up to about 12. This one is about 12. Hit OK. And there it is. Uh, a blend of two exposures of the crescent moon um, showing the earth shine uh, there's um, you know these are just two single images so it's, it's still gonna be noisy even though I applied that um, the noise reduction it's still pretty noisy but that's uh, that's how you do it there's the final image 
uh, not that great because I rushed it, but yep, I just wanted to go over on how to make an Earthshine HDR moon. Alright, take it easy.